Only very few people are aware that Triceratops was able to aggressively cause a bloodbath. A long time ago, it was a huge mistake to get too close to this dinosaur, otherwise it was usually too late. Especially when you're traveling alone as a raptor and confront this dinosaur. It's like facing a tank as a normal soldier. But why was it so scary to meet Triceratops? Triceratops wasn't some slow plant-munching giant, it was a walking war machine. This beast didn't just defend itself, it fought, crushed, and killed. With a bite strong enough to snap bone and horns that could impale a T-Rex, Triceratops was built for war. So what made Triceratops one of the most brutal killers of the Cretaceous? Let's find out. For years, Triceratops has been labeled as a peaceful herbivore, a slow-moving giant that only fought when necessary. But the truth? The truth is far more brutal. Paleontologists have uncovered evidence of violence written in bone. Fractured skulls, gouged frills, and shattered horns tell a different story. One of aggression, dominance, and survival at all costs. Triceratops didn't just defend itself, it attacked. These creatures fought each other in brutal contests for territory and mates, using their massive horns like medieval lances. And when faced with a predator, they didn't run, they stood their ground, and they fought to kill. But what made this creature such an unstoppable force? To understand that, we need to break down its lethal design. Triceratops wasn't just big, it was built for combat. Every part of its body was a weapon, fine-tuned for battle in one of the deadliest periods in Earth's history. Let's have a look at its deadly horns. These weren't just for show. Triceratops' four-foot-long horns were thick, razor-sharp, and capable of puncturing flesh and shattering bone. Fossil evidence proves these horns were used in vicious battles, not just against predators, but against their own kind in brutal dominance fights. The skull shield was a biological shield reinforced with thick bone to absorb devastating blows. When a predator, even T-Rex, went for the kill, Triceratops could turn its head, deflecting deadly bites and counterattacking with full force. And here's what most people don't know. Triceratops had a bite that could crush wood, bone, and even enemy armor. This wasn't just a plant eater. Triceratops' jaws were engineered to shear through tough material, meaning in the heat of battle, its bite could inflict serious damage. Put all of this together, and you get a creature that wasn't just getting hunted and killed by predators, but it was literally scaring and even killing them. Similar to the hippopotamus, Triceratops reacted very aggressively to other dinosaurs in its territory. Most of the opponents he faced barely escaped with their lives, if at all. Being one of the largest herbivores of the Cretaceous period, would have faced a variety of predators and rival species that posed significant threats. As the apex predator of its time, T. rex was a constant threat to Triceratops. How would a fight between Triceratops and T. rex would look like? A fight between Triceratops and T. rex would be an intense, high-stakes battle, with both animals utilizing their unique strengths and tactics. In this battle, Triceratops' aggressiveness would be its greatest strength. It doesn't wait for T-Rex to initiate the attack. It seizes control and forces the fight on its own terms. Its horns, frill, and muscular build all work in unison to overwhelm the T-Rex. While the T-Rex is an apex predator, it relies on landing a single powerful bite to take down prey. Triceratops, on the other hand, is a relentless fighter continuously pressing the attack with multiple points of damage. Its ability to outmaneuver and constantly strike with its horns would eventually lead to T-Rex's downfall. In the end, Triceratops would not only survive, but defeat the T-Rex, proving that sometimes aggression, endurance, and tactical advantage can overwhelm even the fiercest predators. Do you think the fight between Triceratops and T-Rex would have had a different outcome? Write it in the comments. Smaller, but extremely fast and intelligent, raptors could have posed a serious threat to young or weakened Triceratops. These dinosaurs often hunted in packs, which could allow them to take on larger prey like Triceratops. However, full-grown Triceratops would be very difficult for a pack of raptors to overpower. When faced with a predator, Triceratops didn't just stand its ground, it charged. Weighing over 12,000 pounds, this beast hit like a freight train, its sharpened horns acting like twin spears. A direct hit could pierce through muscle, shatter ribs, and deliver a fatal wound in seconds. 
Unlike other herbivores that relied on fleeing, Triceratops had something rare, a predatory mindset in an herbivore's body. It didn't just wait to be attacked, it attacked first. In a world full of dangers, especially from larger carnivores like T-Rex and Velociraptor, Triceratops would have had to develop more than just a brute defense mechanism. A predatory mindset would have meant constant vigilance. Triceratops would have been aware of its surroundings, understanding how to spot a predator before it strikes and how to position itself to use its weapons most effectively. Always ready to turn the tables on any threat, the ruthlessness behind such an approach would demonstrate that Triceratops was willing to fight to the death, just like any predator fighting for its next meal. Some fossils even suggest Triceratops gored and killed predators, leaving them to bleed out from deep wounds. This wasn't a helpless grazer. It was a creature that could turn the hunter into the hunted. Even as the Cretaceous world came to an end, Triceratops was one of the last surviving species. When other animals vanished, this large herbivore continued to thrive, surviving much longer than many of its contemporaries. In the end, Triceratops was far more than just a peaceful giant. It was a well-adapted survivor, capable of defending itself and holding its own in a harsh, dangerous world. If you like this video, I would be very happy about a like and a subscription. See you in the next video. Stay fascinated.